We're at the Autonomous Car Conference in Detroit. Danny Shapiro here is with NVIDIA, one of the companies that is critical in coming up with the technology that will enable this. Danny, why are you here? I mean, there's a lot of different conferences that you could go to. Why this one? And what's the message that you want to convey here? Well, we're really focused on the self-driving car. Our technology is really at the core of what everyone is doing. We just introduced our NVIDIA Drive PX, our autopilot car computer. Wanted to show off a little bit about what it can do. I actually have one right here. And this is it. This is it. So this is a supercomputer that goes in the car that enables the car to drive itself. Um, we're working with about 50 different companies, automakers, tier ones, and some other ecosystem partners that are really embracing um, this new technology and helping to, to bring it to market eventually. Now, NVIDIA, of course, makes the GPUs, the, the brilliantly fast graphic process units, but what, what's this whole unit thing that you're tied? This is like autonomy in a box that you can plug right. into a car? I mean, essentially, it, it, it's the brain of the car. There's sensors, right, that you have around the car, cameras, radar, LiDAR. Um, just like a human, you have, you have your senses, your eyes, your ears, your nose, touch, right? But they all feed into your brain. And so what we've developed is the brain of the car. It's a massively parallel processor. It can take 12 camera inputs, it can take the LiDAR, it can take the radar. And basically we're using it to build a map of everything that's going on around your car. And using deep learning or a deep neural network, basically a computer model that's simulating the human brain, we're able to analyze everything that's going on around the car and also anticipate what may happen based on information it's been trained upon. So the demonstration that we're showing here is, again, a simple illustration of feeding it just a few hours of video, and the system can understand and discern different types of vehicles. So a car, a truck, but really importantly, it can discern an ambulance versus a delivery truck, or a police car versus a taxi cab. And so when you have an autonomous vehicle, it has to understand all these subtle nuances in types of vehicles, of course, but also be able to recognize pedestrians and what pedestrians are doing, uh, recognize bicyclists and what bicyclists are doing, recognize the lane markings and you know street signs. And our system is basically, it gets smarter and smarter the more information it's fed, just like a human would. You're calling this a supercomputer. Give me some sort of relationship as to why you think that this is a right. supercomputer that's going in so, a car. So this has two of our Tegra X1s. Each Tegra processor now is capable of one teraflops of power. So what that means is one trillion operations per second. If you go back to the year 2000, our country's fastest supercomputer was a one teraflops processor. That took 1,600 square feet in a data center. It required 500,000 watts of power and another 500,000 watts to cool. This operates at that same level of performance. The actual processor inside here is the size of your thumbnail and consumes 10 watts of electricity. So and you we, got two of them in And there. we've got two of them, that's right. Unbelievable, the computing power that's coming into cars these days. So one of the things I'm picking up here at this conference is a wide variety of opinions as to when autonomous cars are really going to become available. A lot of different opinions and, and strategies. Clearly, NVIDIA is working with everybody, especially those at the bleeding edge of all this. When do you think we'll see it? Well, well we have a, a lot of projects, obviously. Some we can talk about publicly, some we can't. Um, we believe we're going to see an autonomous vehicle um, in a couple of years. Now, whether legislation is in place to enable that car to legally drive, right? And the regulators have approved everything, remains to be seen. Um, but from some ADAS features that are coming out over the next couple of years to full autonomy, uh, it's going to happen really quickly. And we'll just see you know, if, if the rest of the, the systems can be in place. I mean, it's very likely it will happen in other countries before the US. And, and I believe, actually, we're going to see autonomous driving on another planet before we actually have it here. Well, we've already got it, right? The Mars rovers That's are right. kind of autonomous in a way. So, And, and so we're working with Audi and uh, part-time scientists as the company in Germany um, as part of the Google X Prize competition to have an autonomous vehicle oh. on the moon in a couple of years. Fantastic. Danny Shapiro, thanks so much for the update. Always very interesting to talk you. with you. Deloitte's Automotive Group is at the forefront, driving transformation and tackling complex challenges. Whether you are interested in globalizing operations, optimizing supply chains, mitigating enterprise risk, or driving innovation, Deloitte can help develop solutions that create long-lasting value. 
To learn more about Deloitte's automotive group, visit us online at deloitte.com backslash US backslash automotive.